Hello friends and uh, welcome again to our e mentoring for E102. I'm Reza Enough and I will be taking this uh, session again. So previously we have looked at some applications such as uh, the proposition for, um, for the application of uh, nodal and mesh analysis. Okay? So this week what we will be looking at is uh, a source transformation, uh, thevenins, and uh, notons. So these are the uh, important topics as well that uh, you need to know and understand. And I believe that you have also had assignments on this, so take this as a review and see on what uh, what can be done. Okay, so <coughs> um, source transformation is uh, basically just it's a process of replacing um, uh, voltage voltage source that is in series with a resistor uh, to a current source that, that is in parallel with, uh, with the resistor. Okay? So if there is a source, meaning a supply, and a, um, in the resistor, it is in um, it is in series, uh, you can actually um, you can actually change it to a current supply and a resistor. Okay, so you'll get to know this concept once we look at an uh, example of this. Okay, so let's look at this example first. Okay, so it says that uh, using source information, find V naught in this circle. Okay, so as you can see uh, from the rules, okay. So first rule that we can see here is um, yeah. so these two. Okay. So they are in um, they can be part of the rule. Okay. Uh, uh, that the resistor and the current supply they are in series. I mean in parallel, so you can change these two. Um, voltage and resistor in parallel, I mean in series. Okay, so you can add these two resistors, okay? So that is what we'll be looking at first. Um, <clears throat> all right, so as you can see, so from previous example, how will we calculate, uh, how will we calculate the voltage? So we'll do that by V is equal to uh, IR. So we have a we have our current which is three, and we have our resistor is four. So this gives us twelve volts. Okay. So the supply will be twelve volt, and the resistor value will be the same. And that is what you will see here. Okay. So that is this part. This part and this. Okay, so this power supply is the way it came as we discussed uh, in the previous slide. And how to get that. Okay, so once you have that, as you can see, the 4 ohm resistor and the 2 ohm resistor they are in parallel. I mean in series. You can add them directly, uh, which will give you 6 ohms. Okay. So 6 ohms is what you can see here. And 12. Now you can see that. Um, this side is already in parallel, so once you have done this rotation, probably you can make this side um, parallel as well, so current and resistor, so that you can add these two resistors, this one and the one that you will get parallel, in, yeah? which, will, um, which will help you calculate, um, it will make this circuit actually more simple, okay? That is what you can see here. Okay. So once that is done, then you can see that the 6 ohm resistor and the 3 ohm resistor, they are in parallel, so you can add them. Okay. And this uh, current supply you've also got from the formula V is equal to IR. So this source transformation, it uses V is equal to IR mostly, and just your basic knowledge from how to um, how to transform from one from one form which is voltage source in series with the resistor to current source 
पैरेलल भी कर सकता हूं गाइस वैसे ओके तो एंड सी इफ वंस यू हैव दोस टू यू गेट टू ओम्स एंड यू कैन सी इज डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इज गोइंग डाउनवर्ड इज टू एंड दिस इज गोइंग अपवर्ड इज फोर सो यू एड देम यू गेट टू अपवर्ड ऑन दिस साइड ओके सो टू एम्स इज गोइंग अपवर्ड एंड यू हैव दिस वंस यू हैव दिस दिस इज लाइक अ सिंपलीफाइड मोस्ट सिंपलीफाइड सर्किट यू कैन गेट फ्रॉम दिस टू or you can add so this is an alternative but then you can just use current divided over here okay uh, so in parallel we know that current divides so the total current is up to give we can okay and then the current across these two resistors we add up to give two ohms okay so how will we know that so you can use the current divided rule the current divided rule is just basically if you are finding let's say i across Resistor one. Okay. So the formula will be R two will be on top. So the opposite resistor of one R one plus R two R one plus R two, and then we multiply this whole thing by the total current that is in the circuit. This is known as the current divider rule. Okay. So in this case, since we are finding the current across the eight-ohm resistor, so the two-ohm resistor will be on top, divided by two plus eight into two ohms. So this gives you as zero point four ohms. Once you have that, now you have the resistor. You have the current. You can easily find what is the voltage across the eight-ohm resistor, which is zero. So eight times zero point four is the three point two volts. So that is the answer that you get. So this is basically what um, um, what two part transformation is all about. Okay, it's just a, it's just the basic understanding that you're learning basic laws on how to add and uh, add parallel and series resistors, how to find total resistance, and then just switching it from one one form to the other, okay, from one source to the other. Uh, Okay, so we will look at another example just to see if you really understood this. So it is this this example is basically um, the same thing. The only difference here is uh, just has an uh, dependent source now to it, which uh, indicates that uh, it can that can be a bit confusing, but The concept is the same. Okay, if you follow the steps correctly, you should be able to do this. Okay. Um, okay. So first of all, you can see that this, this, and this. Okay. So this is in series with the supply. This is a voltage. So you can change this into current in parallel with the resistor. So that is what is being done here. Okay. So you get three amps as your current, and two ohm resistor is in parallel with it. Once you have these two, you can see that this so you can see this. Okay, so this is in parallel. This is still a current source, okay, and it's in parallel with the resistor. So you can change that form as well. And that form comes down to something like this. So four times zero point two five dx will be dx. So we are finding the voltage, and that is what we get. Okay. So once you have those two, so you add these two resistors in parallel. It will give you one ohm. It's it gives you one ohm, and. Uh, And now, what you can do is, you 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 know that whatever value of V X you will find here, okay, at this point, will be the same value you will get across this, across this branch. Okay. So now, once you add these two, so you can just use a Kutcher's um, Walter's law loop. Okay. So you go around the loop to get a general equation, but in that equation, if you know, you have two unknowns. You have dx and you have i. 
We have two unknowns and you have only one equation. So what you can do is you can go back and do a kerchief's uh, voltage door loop only around this. Okay? Only around this branch. This will help you get a equation for Vx. Okay? So once you have an equation for Vx, then instead of having this Vx, you can you can actually achieve that in terms of I. Okay? So that is what we will be doing. So there will be an idea. Okay, now. Once you have this, then you want to see that Vx comes to 3 minus i. So this is what you will substitute here in place of Vx. Okay, so what you substitute uh, equation 1 and equation 2, you will get your answer as minus 4.5 amps. So minus 4.5 amps. Once you have 4.5 amps, then Once you have this is answer, then note that we are still looking for Vx. Okay? What we will be doing here is so Vx is 3 minus current value. Current value we found is minus 4.5. 3 minus minus 4.5 is equal to 7.5 volts. So just a quick review of this. Note that we said at first that we can submit Let's say it's a bit um, it's a bit tough, but it's just basic understanding of this uh, flows, okay? Uh, if you understand our uh, basic flows that you have learned in chapter and the beginning of, towards the beginning of this course, then you should be able to do this, okay? And note that in exams, if you are asked to solve questions using uh, super transformation or social transformation, please use social transformation. If not, then uh, uh, you have new benefits, okay? There can be instances, instances where you also can get zero, okay? So, uh, this is all for source transformation. I will be looking at another application of it, which is savings, okay? So, savings, um, savings which, the, um, A linear, a linear two terminal circuit can be replaced by a linear circuit consisting of a voltage source in series with a resistor RTH. Okay? So the voltage source is known as VTH, which is the means, and RTH is known as the means resistance. Okay? So what this law uh, means, and in this definition means, is you have a, you can have a big circuit. Okay, it means that circuit of the equivalent circuit is in the previous theorem, and it plays that whole circuit is going to be the image. But there is some steps and some rules that we have to follow in order to get that done. The first thing is, the uh, first thing is to read the other two cases, two types of rules that are So, first is, if the network has a lot of dependent source, okay, so you just then all the independent source and the main source is another, you can obtain your RTH, okay? And these two states that it varies, uh, there are some dependent sources in the circuit. So you turn off all the independent source and you add the one volt resistor, uh, one volt source supply or a current supply for one amp. With it, uh, um, at terminals in B, okay? So in that way you will define the RTH and VTH. Okay, so that is what uh, the circuit is uh, I'm talking and basically explaining about, is turn off all dependent source and we calculate. Same thing we do here. Instead of just leaving this place open, we just put either a one, one volt supply or one amp supply. Let's look at an example. <coughs> okay, so it says, I'm determining uh, equivalent circuit of the circuit below. Um, to the left of the terminals AB, then find the current for B, so RL equals to 36 ohms. Okay. 
The first thing you have to see, according to the case, is whether there is any um, uh, dependent source. So there is none. So what we will do in order to connect to H is we turn off all the sources. So that is what is being done here. As you can see, at this point. Okay, so there is no more sources involved. Um, so, as you can see here, the 4 ohm and the 12 ohm are in parallel. And then those things just go in parallel. So you, and then the, these two are in series with the 1 ohm resistor. So you calculate and you get your RTHS 4 ohms. So this is still not done. Once you find your RTH, you have to find now your ETH. So how will we find our ETH? Okay. So as you can see, it's just the normal. You can use mesh analysis just to find VTH. Okay. Um, note that your VTH is usually wherever there is a point A, B. Okay. In the circuit, that will hint that that is where you have to find your terminus voltage. So in that, in this case, this is where our BC understanding comes in. And uh, VTH at this terminal, it is same in parallel with the VTH in um, across this branch. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this is where understanding comes of voltage is the same in parallel, and current is the same in series. So if we have to find the voltage across this this terminal, this branch. It is the same across this 12 ohm resistor. Okay. So that is where we can find the uh, voltage. If you find the voltage is this node, it will be the same as the VTH. So you go around the loop, you have, you have two meshes, okay, and then you rearrange your terms. Okay. And from the equation that you obtain, you should be able to get VTHS 30 volts. Okay, so this this so this whole circuit is uh, equivalent to only this part of using terminals. Okay. Now, the original question asked us to find the current frequency 36 ohm resistor. Okay. So note that current um, is the same in series, okay? So what we can do is we can just use B upon R to find current. So 30 volts is applied, and we have two resistors in series, so we send them up. O plus R L and R L value is given as 36, so it's 30 upon 40. So it is written five times. So this is how you solve this question. Okay. So this is uh, this is a pretty straightforward question. This was just to test your understanding. Okay. So note the first thing you find is RTH, and second thing is VTH, after which you see what the question is asking you to find, what else the question is asking you to find. Okay. So in your case, you just find IL across the 36 ohm resistor. Okay. Moving on is the Nortons. Okay. So note the Nortons uh, is which um, is not similar to uh, what we did for terminals. Okay. The only difference here is we did uh, the circuit. Okay, so for the terminals, we have to represent the equivalent circuit as a voltage supply in, and the resistor was in series to the voltage supply. Okay. In notons, the difference uh, the difference between terminals and notons is in notons. We will be using current source as a supply, and the resistor, the Rn, will be in parallel to it. Okay. So note that uh, Thevenin and Norton's resistance are equal. Okay. So the only difference now will be to find uh, Norton current. Okay. And Norton current is basically VTH upon RTH. Okay. So it's just like you're going a step further. That is what you are doing. Okay. It is going to step further here. Okay. Um, I just quickly look at this example and you will understand what we are talking about. Okay. 
okay now as you can see here as you see here this is a circuit which is fine not in find the not an equivalent circuit of the circuit okay so first thing is you the way we used to find out to we find our rn okay so we turn off all the sources since there is no dependent source we get this okay the mode that uh, this g the 8 ohm 8 ohm and ohm they are in series but they are in parallel with the power ohm resistor so we get a parameter size 4 ohms okay find your terminal i mean your not in current you can use mesh analysis okay. if you use mesh analysis um, you find your i1 and i2 note that whatever your i2 value is to be equal to your uh, i n okay and you solve it and you should get that uh, and if we were to replace this circuit how would we do it okay so it would be something like this we have the current source here okay and then in parallel to that you will have your r n resistor Okay, and then you have your point, point A and B. Okay. In our case, this is given as one M, and this is what we found as four. So this is the, is the answer. Okay, so I hope that uh, this. Continue to have a better understanding of social.